Now, every single box I own is not only in near mint condition, they're not opened. They're completely, their seams are completely sealed. I'm already nervous about this. If you, if you know what I see, you're probably already nervous too. Essentially what this means is he has an open game here. This is not factory sealed. Welcome back everyone. Now, obviously since Ms. Kiff's name is being used in this video, it may garner more clicks than usual. So this might be your first time on the channel. You might be your first exposure to me. In which case you're probably wondering who the fuck is this guy? Fair, fair point. Very fair. That's a fair argument. Now, I don't want to have to run a whole backstory here, but I'm a game collector, 10 years, lots of experience with grading, VGA WADA, ideal in buying, selling, grading, high-end video games and collectibles. And I have a very sizable video game collection myself, and I even own a lot of the games that Ms. Kiff shows off in this video. So that's who I am. I'm a video game collector, and this video caught my attention because it has over 250,000 views. And it's of Ms. Kiff, Twitch streamer Ms. Kiff, showing off his video game investments. If you're one of the very few people who is on the other side of the spectrum and you're thinking, who the hell's Mizkif? Very successful Twitch streamer and YouTuber, variety stream, very funny guy. So I wanna know what is he saying about the market that's taking place? What's his take on it? Maybe he'll share some insights with us as to what he sees going on, what's he collecting? But anyway, let's get into the video which is titled showing off my $25,000 video game investments. Look at me, got a smile on my face already just seeing Mizkif. First of all, if you're watching this video, let me just say, yo, today we're going to be doing an interesting video. One okay. that I actually do care about a lot. Some of you may know, actually all of you may know, I have more hobbies than just farming wall Ws. I actually am a big fan of Pokemon and N64 boxes. Oh, let's now, go, Miz. I have no idea what I'm talking about. And Exquisite tasting okay. games already. Mobile. About five or six years ago, I started collecting N64 boxes and graded boxes in general. Okay, so five or six years. So he's been doing it for a while, honestly because I was a huge fan of these things. I've always been very nostalgic, but I always wanted to own the boxes. And for some reason, I always wanted to own these boxes more than I wanted to have. It's a bit weird. He, he calls them boxes all the time and not games. It's kind of a weird distinction. I've never, never really heard that said before. Have a home. So today, I thought it'd be fun for us to go over some of the boxes that I own. This is my first VGA graded box I ever had. Now, if you don't understand what VGA graded means, when you send in a box, it has to be near mint or has to be in per really good condition. So you send it into this place and this place is like, oh, let's check it. They check it and they see the seams, they see the sides. It's true. Historically, you really only wanted to submit the best of the best. But as of late, really any kind of condition factory sealed is starting to become worth it to send in. And they all look around to see what this box is graded and what's it worth. Typically, a good box is in the 70s. A near mint box is 85 plus. Okay, so he said typically a good box is in the 70s. Um, that's a little bit low, really. Like that's, a 70 will have obvious wear almost all over it. Like you could take a good condition box and basically punch it and then you'll have a 70. So that's a little bit low, but. A really good box is 90 graded. If you have a graded box that's 90, that means that it's in really good mint condition. This box is 85. He's almost downplaying the 90 condition, actually. If you have 90 on N64, that is. Like, that's really hard to get. N64 boxes are really fragile. Plus. So all my boxes I have are 85 plus, which means it's near mint plus. That is extremely rare. Now, every single box I own is not only in near mint condition, they're not opened, they're completely, their seams are completely sealed, and they are going to be like this until I die. So this box is Mario Party 2 VGA graded. Now, I bought this box a year ago. Now, I might be wrong here. Maybe I misheard something, but I thought he said he started buying five or six years ago, but this is the first one he bought, and he bought this one a year ago, which would put it November 2019-ish, give or take, sometime in 2019. So it might mean his experience with graded video games isn't as long or deep as I initially thought. We'll see. We'll see here. So this box is 85 plus VGA graded. It's really good condition. It is very, it's near mint. It was my first box I ever bought. This was $1,100 when I bought it. 85 plus VGA graded for $3,000. If that's not a good investment, I don't know what is. Go look at the S&P 500. Go look at it. It's like 5%, 7%, negative 7% when Donald Trump talks. Do you understand how good this investment is? It's popping, baby. I'm the next Jake Paul. <laughs> now, I know he's being facetious here, but it's a little bit dangerous to inflate the video game mantra that hard. Like 2020 is an outlier. It's, it's, it's not just buy a game for 1100 have it turn into 3000 in a span of a year. My next box I have is the only one, the only. Mm. Welcome to Mario Kart. <laughs> Man, he kind of nailed that Mario Kart intro. I'll be honest, that was that's pretty damn good. Mario Kart 64. 
I'm already nervous about this. If you if you know what I see, you're probably already nervous too. Now, if you zoom in really close right there, what's interesting about this box is you can actually see that it's- Okay, so we're zooming in and um, it's really blurry. I'll, I'll have to add a graphic here, but it says 85 plus at the top. Underneath it says near mint plus and underneath that the word qualified is written there. Qualified, which if you look at the box here on the right hand side, you can see that the box is opened. Looking at a box face on that's factory sealed, you can't see any of the red overlapping. Essentially what this means is he has an opened game here. This is not factory sealed. I, I hope he knows. It still has the Kmart tag on it for $70. That is some vintage shit right there. 85 plus VGA graded, near mint, beautiful box. Honestly, it's some of my favorite art I've ever seen on any box. It is just beautiful. I Please mention the qualified Miz. Please mention it. I love this box and I think it's fantastic. I, so I bought this box for $1,000. Oh, he paid a thousand for it. Which I mean, if it was factory sealed, that's insane. But it's not. Woo! Super Mario 64, baby. This is probably the pinnacle of games. This is going to be probably, no, in my Ms. personal opinion, the box. That no, Ms. Kiff, no. I, I bought this box for $1,300 about five months ago. So it's 85 plus. I've seen it being sold for 80 for $4,000. I think this box is going to skyrocket in price. I really do. Once again, it's a qualified box. Oh my God. Um, This one's very obvious. You can just see right on this box on the right hand edge where the, the cellophane has been cut. You can see the cut line just based on the light reflections. And again, looking at it straight on to the right side of the yellow spot there that says only for Nintendo 64, you should not be able to see red there. It, the word qualified is written right on the label. So, I mean, there's no second guessing it, but it sucks too because he was right. Like he's right. Super Mario 64 right now in 85 plus condition is probably a $50,000 game. It's like a guy who thought he bought Bitcoin, but it ended up he bought like Bitcoin diamond or something. And he just, he doesn't know the difference. And this is, this is honestly kind of heartbreaking. Like Ms. Kiff, you're so dumb. <laughs> but I'm letting you know why these matter to me so much more. If you look at a GameCube box, it just doesn't have the art style that these boxes have. When you download, you know, your new favorite game, which is Among Us, last week it was- He's Fall so Fall right. Like his passion is game, in the right spot. Have the I agree 100%. Opening these boxes. Look at the art style, the effort that they put into these boxes. How intriguing the, the beautiful picture. It is very intriguing. This is why I love this stuff. 100%. Because the art, the effort, the creativity is something that's unmatched in the gaming community. Okay. I, I just want to yell through the screen at him. I want to just yell like, ugh. Hopefully now he knows. Like I said, this was five months ago. Like hopefully he's corrected course or someone let him know or he was able to rectify it somehow. I just, ugh. So this box I actually got for a really good sale. I got it for $400. It is again near mint. Dr. Oh, Mario. nice. Now, a lot of you guys probably never even played Dr. Mario. Really nice. I'm sure most of you guys probably don't even play Dr. Mario and Super Smash Brothers. He's stacking but the Mario Dr. games, Mario which I mean... Dr. Mario is a very iconic game. Fantastic. Um, it, I didn't really play it as a kid, but I got this and I saw this and I was like, damn, it's a good price. I bought this for $400. I don't really know how much it's worth nowadays, but I spent $400 on it. Yeah, he's absolutely not wrong about his relativity analysis. Like, just simply a good price at $400. This one's extremely rare. I don't see this box sold ever, and I've been watching for four years. Okay, so maybe he's been interested in graded games for four, five, six years, but he only started buying them a year ago? Maybe that's what he means? Majora's Mask. But this is not just Majora's Very Mask. Very nice. This baby's 90 graded. I, um, here, let me, let me get in here. Hi, Ms. Kiff. I know I don't have a 90, but hopefully you still respect me. This box is amazing to me. It is absolutely amazing to me. I'm so glad I have it. So the story of this box is actually interesting. I was on eBay and I noticed that this was only $2,000. And I said to myself, how is this only two grand? And I messaged the guy. I want that cat. going to be a dad. And he told me that it's a, he's like, my son recently passed away. And these boxes are all he cherished. He had two of these boxes and they were $2,000. So I bought one. And he told me that he just wants to make sure it goes to a good home. And I told him and I said, it's not. But I'll pay the $2,000. And I gave him the $2,000 and I got the box. <laughs> I want to know if that whole story was just bullshit or if only the ending was bullshit. But that, that's good. This box is worth way more than $2,000. I scammed the guy. Kind of a dick move. He did scam the guy. But that's just business. This box is probably worth, if I had to guess, somewhere between four dollars and $5,000. It's 90 mint Majora's Mask. It is a beautiful box. On a lighter note. Mm, mm. Diddy Kong Racing. So a lot of you guys, I, if you don't know me, what's up? Welcome, Welcome to, to my, my channel. channel. I have always loved Diddy Kong Racing. It is one of my favorite games of all time. I absolutely loved it. 
Full disclosure, I've never played Diddy Kong Racing in my life. I, I think Rare is possibly the best gaming company to ever grace us with games. Agreed. Their creativity alone Agreed. surpasses anyone that I've ever seen. 85 plus VJ grade. I bought this box for, four, I think it was $1,400. I don't know how much it's worth now, probably 10 grand, but I spent- Okay, so he kind of paid up for that. So I wonder when he bought that one. That must've been a more of a recent purchase for 1400 for Diddy Kong. Oh snap, look what it is. One of the greatest games of all time. Pokemon Snap is Pokemon Snap. I was very lucky to get this for $900, 85 plus VGA grade. I wonder if he bought it prior to the new announcement for Pokemon Snap or after the announcement. Because as soon as that new Pokemon Snap game was announced, holy shit, the price of this game like doubled or tripled overnight. I debated selling my copy, but I didn't. I've seen these being sold for over $2,000 now, and I bought this about a year ago today. It's in great condition. This is perfectly done. And yeah, it's just a good box. It's nice. Thank you. This next box is actually a little bit of an embarrassment, but I'm going to show you because I said I'm going to show you my whole collection. Kirby's Crystal Shard. Classic. Classic. I don't know why he said embarrassment. That's a that's a pretty heavy N64 title in any condition, factory sealed. Doesn't come up often at all. Absolutely amazing game. We all know it. We all love it. But the thing is, it's not 85 plus. So this one's actually an 85 True. Grade, and I know exactly why. You can't True. see it right here because it's not humanly possible, but there's actually a little bit of a dent right here and here. So that dent actually <laughs> caused it to go from an 85 plus to an 80 grade. Now the difference in that, this box is worth thousands of dollars, 85 plus. This box 85 was worth 400 or 300 dollars for what I bought it for. Oh, 300 or 400, that's a dream, Ms. Kiff. Great price. That's why it has a silver, because it's in second place. No one cares about second place. This is cringe. Don't buy second place. Okay, okay, so he definitely pushes the gold standard. All old time collectors, myself included. 85 plus was the absolute minimum. I wish I had lower standards back then, holy shit. This next box, maybe some of your favorites. Will the field strong mans begin? You just look out. You blow that final blow into your cartridge. Stick that bad boy into your N64. Bam, it finally turns on. The nostalgic music, Link on top of his horse, is my honor to grace you with one of the rarest, if not the rarest box I have. Bugs Life! Whoa! An 85 plus VGA graded Ocarina of Time box. This box is different than any other. Ocarina of Time is considered one of the best games of all time, hands down. And I'm sure for many of hands you guys, down. it's probably the box that you've always dreamed of. And it was for me. It's kind of like the gem of all boxes. It's, chat, what's the word? Not the gem, the, the whole- Ocarina is the peak of gaming for me as well. Me and Mizkif here actually share the same view on the N64 library. Like I'm an N64 kid. I agree with everything he's saying, except for the VGA 85 qualified games. This is the holy grail of boxes for N64. Probably the only one that I would say is close to this is Super Smash Brothers, which I am still trying to find. Holy grail is a bit aggressive, but... This box was actually given to me by Twitch. I was celebrating my two year anniversary on Twitch and I actually got my partner manager at Twitch. His name is Pluto. I got him addicted to these boxes. First started sending me pictures of boxes, then he started buying boxes on his own. And then he started spending most of his salary on boxes just like I have. And he knows how much these boxes mean to me. So without me knowing, he actually got me one of these boxes. The box was Ocarina of Time. That's insane. He bought this insane. box for $4,000 about a few months ago. And I feel like the guy who sold this was an idiot because this box right now, 85 graded, is going for $12,000. Now, I just know off the top of my head that right now, one in slightly better condition sold for about 36,000 on Heritage. His would probably be 20,000 at this point in time. Like, holy shit. At 4000 I mean, yeah, he got a good price on it. I paid just about 4000 for mine, and it's a much lower grade than his is. This box is worth well over ten grand right now. Yeah. Classic, and I'll never be able to sell it. It's a priceless gem to me that I will always cherish. Pokemon <laughs> Stadium, 85 Oof. plus. Just hearing that intro gets me fired up. Wow. Now this box is sick. Because the thing is with this box is it's fucking massive. Now that makes it more rare because the reality is near mint condition is almost impossible. So to be able to preserve such a box is- He's right. Like he's absolutely right. Grading these Pokemon Stadium big boxes is a bitch. They have no wrap on them. So the cardboard is always exposed. It's truly incredible. This box I bought for $1,400. I have no idea what it sells for right now. Freaking $1,400 is- <laughs> A little bit more than the price that I passed on it for in 2020. I was looking to buy one. It was up for a thousand, I think it was, maybe even 800. And I was a cheap ass. Oh, swapping gears on us here. Brings out the Game Boy Color out of nowhere. And a boom bada bing, baby. It's a Game Boy Color. 
85 plus VJ graded. Uh, I didn't really want the pink one, but I bought this for $1,800. I bought this about two or three weeks ago when I was actually able to buy stuff. Uh, but this box is very rare, and I'm very grateful to have it. Yeah, it's funny he doesn't want the pink one, but the pink one is one of the more uncommon colors to find factory sealed. Our next boxes. Boom. Pokemon Gold. Jesus, now, now he's bringing out the Pokemon games. 85 plus VGA graded. I bought this for $2,000, and I honestly feel like I scammed the guy, because I see it going now 85 graded for $4,000. Yeah, I wonder how long ago he bought this for two grand. Because at 85 plus for 2K, yeah, like, steal, steal in today's values. This is, was my first game I ever got. I was at an IHOP and I started to cry because my brother and I wanted Pokemon Silver and Gold. So my dad caved in like a pussy. Dad, if you're watching, you were a pussy. And he went- If his dad did cave in, he is a pussy. God knows my dad did cave in. Pokemon Sapphire, this bad boy. It's such a beautiful box. And you got a little mud kip on the side. One of my editors and my longtime person named Zed is actually a huge fan of Pokemon Sapphire and it's his favorite game ever. So. I sent him it as a gift. I just said, here you go. How the fuck do I become friends with this guy? Someone reach out to Mizkiff and let me be his friend. He got it after we spent like $300 in import tax to Canada. Fuck you, Canada. Hey, look, I treat my editors pretty well. Um, and I saw one. He was even willing to ship it to Canada. So, you didn't think I was going to have something up my sleeve to really make this video zing? Come on, I'm a TikTok star. You didn't think I'd have something real interesting to show you at the last minute? Yeah, so what have we seen so far? Probably about 10 games, hey? All said and done? Like, $25,000 just doesn't go that far in sealed and graded video games. Boys, it's something I haven't even seen yet. <sighs> oh, holy it's shit. 85 plus VGA graded Pokemon Emerald. That's heavy. This has sold previously for $10,000. Now, yep. I did a stream a few weeks ago where I someone linked me this for $5,000, and I couldn't believe that someone did that. Not only the best Pokemon game, but I think it's the prettiest box that they've ever made. Yeah, Emerald's oh, beautiful. I agree Check with that. Look at that box. Look at the quality on that God. box right there. That, that's incredible. Like that's 85 that, pluses. Baby. Your childhood just swarms you right now with nostalgia. So be sure to check my next video where I open all of them. That's pretty much it. These are all the boxes I have. As I'm even speaking right now, these bad boys are pretty much skyrocketing in price 24 seven. These really do move as quick as Bitcoin. That's what 2020, 2021 so far has been. Mizkif can go nap and see his games appreciate by 10%. It's absolutely ridiculous. If you're wondering how much I would sell any of these for, or if you're ever going to message me, fuck you. I will never sell any of these boxes. I will take these to the grave. So all in all, if my editor adds these up, which he better do, I'm going to guess I probably spent around $25,000. Okay, so twenty-one five. yeah. <laughs> you couldn't even buy half of this collection for twenty-one five now. I'm going to guess they're probably worth it. And I'm being real with this. If I were to sell all these boxes right now, I probably would make about $25,000 profit. So it's a worthwhile investment. Next video I do, I'm going to add up where his collection here, what he showed in this video is actually at. Because some of these have skyrocketed in value. Those VGA qualified games are really going to hurt him. But overall, like, yeah, he's... He's crushing it with these games. He's buying great titles. He's buying high grades. It's not not money oriented, but he says himself that he's not going to sell them. So, I mean, it's not about the money. Of course, they have value. You should always be aware of that no matter what you're collecting. You should never just let your finances get away from you. But overall, it seems like a very positive message. And I'm I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see where Ms. Kiff goes with this collection, honestly. And let me know down below in the comments too. Is it Ms. Kiff's fault for not researching thoroughly enough? Or is it VGA's fault for not clearly identifying the difference between standard scale and qualified scale? I'll also make a video explaining that for you guys so you can really understand why it makes such a big difference. But like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time.